Hi guys, um, today I'm showing you guys how to install the Digitex Stream DL4, the quad core processor, a lot faster. Trust me, I was using the dual core, it's a little bit slow, but it's a lot faster with the quad core. So, what I just did was I plugged the power cord in, uh, the HDMI cable, and now this is what you get. So, give it a second. Okay, so in the beginning, you're gonna do, you're gonna see, this is what you're gonna see. Set up, right? So you click next. And then asking you to choose your language. So you could choose English, Chinese, Spanish, whichever you prefer. So you click next. And this is the, uh, the up and down, this is to adjust your screen. So you click next. And then this is for your Wi-Fi, your network. You click next again. Okay, so in here, so the first step you should do is on your remote, there's a setup right there on your remote. You click setup, so it'll bring you to your screen, your, your, your networking. So this is what I'm gonna enter my, my Wi Fi. So you press OK right there and then you start entering your Wi-Fi passcode. And you go, let me just see my password and make sure. Yep. Oh, uh-oh, something was not right. I would add an extra number. So the way you could use that mouse is by clicking this, it says, it's a little dark, but it says center, and then press OK, or any of this uh, arrow. To turn it back off, you could just same thing, center, there you go. Now once you're done with the password, just click done. Let me check out my password again. All right, so now this time is good. Connect. So now I'm connecting. I could just click return. Return. Then you go to XBMC. Click OK. So just give it a couple seconds, there you go. So this is your main screen. It will say script fail, okay? So there you go. So now this is where you go, this is what you do. You go to system, go down to setting, you press okay. Go down to add-on. So all you gotta do is just press okay, go down, and this is what you do is Click install from zip file and go to DigiRipple. You want to go down to DigiWizard and then click OK on that plugin. 
So now it does. It looks like it, does, it didn't do anything. So it actually is updating. So click OK right there, and then just go return again. Return, return. Now go back to go to go to video add-on. Click OK. So this is what you're gonna get. DigiWizard and get more. So all you gotta do is go to DigiWizard because you just we just install it. So then you go to it says welcome to DigiWizard setup. Do you want to install now? And you click yes. Give it a couple minutes. Um, it's gonna install. So uh, it usually depends how fast your internet is. Um, my internet is about 10, 11, depends, uh, sometimes 15, but uh, now I'm running 10 megabits per second. So it should be pretty quick. So it's installing. Okay, so you can see now all, all those apps are loaded in there. There's some issue with my TV. I'm not sure what happened to my TV, but looks like I need to get a new one. So anyways, go to system, settings. You go to go back to add-on, install zip file, digi repo. So now you want to do the uh, dragon wizard. That's when you update your the, your dragon stream. So just click OK with that. That's it. You're all set. Now you go to video add-on. So right here is a little tricky. Usually when you see that, usually they have pictures. So it depends how you want to view it. This one is list, big list. I usually go to thumbnail. That's when you just, you see all your all the uh, the apps and everything. So there you go. Good luck, guys. Uh, leave me a message if you have any questions. Um, I try to answer as much as I can and if you are interested in purchasing um, one of this box just leave me a message send me an email and, um, and I will send right I send I send one out for you and then we could I could email you the prize and everything so thank you